biggest experiences of my life. I mean, it, I, I tell my husband that, you know, Glenn Draper took us all over the world, you know, so we had an opportunity to expand our world at a really young age when most kids, you know, were still hanging out. It, it, was, it was amazing. I mean, we got, we traveled and I learned more about music and worship than any other time in my life. And just had a lot of great friends that I still have friends of and, and um, still keep in touch with Glenn and Lunell over these years and he actually came to Murfreesboro and helped us do a thing called Fill the Floyd where we filled up the MTSU Stadium and he led our choir of uh, seven, many, about 30 I think churches came together and it was just amazing. Someone who doesn't take the word no very well. <laughs> he just, if he believes it and he got, has it in his mind, this is a goal I'm going to set, by golly, he's going to achieve it. And that's a testament to um, Ed Sullivan and going to the Crystal Cathedral, being invited to tour uh, with Sir Alan Walker in Australia, who's like the Australian version of Billy Graham, uh, being asked to tour for uh, two weeks at a time, multiple times for this gentleman. So that's just the, the type of reputation. World class is what he always told us to be. We do have a, a presentation we'd like to make uh, because we didn't want you to go home empty-handed. Um, we have a plaque here. I'd like you to come up and join us, please, if you would. And I was thinking that uh, in, we would be coining the term director emeritus, but... Uh, Obviously, uh, we weren't the first people to think of this, but uh, I'm, I'm going to present you with a plaque that says, The Department of Music with gratitude to Dr. Glenn Draper for 34 years of distinguished service, Director Emeritus, Chamber Singers, Chattanooga Singers, Singing Mocks, 1968 to 2002. Uh.